Hello everyone, my name is Pedram. I'm a professor in economics and finance, and I'm also a CFA charter holder. This is part two of our crash course in machine learning concepts, Simply Explained. So in part two, we will see what is machine learning, the definition. In part one, we covered the difference between machine learning and statistical learning. We talked about how do we decide either we need a machine learning model or an econometrics model. So we've made that decision based on the structure of the data and also based on your goal as a researcher or a practitioner. If you want a detailed comparison between the two, please check out part one. In this episode, however, we will cover the definition of the machine learning itself and how basically we're going to see how do computers learn. Before that, however, we need to know what is the difference between gen general programming and machine learning. In general programming, we the humans specifically tell the computer what to do. For example, we tell the computer, okay, take X, this is your input, and then we are specifically telling the computer what, what is a program. So for example, we say, okay, add number three to that X and then multiply it by two, right? So at the end of the day, this program is a known function, right? And the function can work like this, okay, take number x plus 3 and then multiply the entire thing by 2. Okay, this function is known. And based on that known function, the computer is going to generate some output for us, right? So whatever the input is, the computer is going to take the input and generate the outputs for us. Let's call the output y. So at the end, we know exactly what is the functional form relationship between x and y because this f of x is completely known. In machine learning, however, we give the machine the input and the output, and sometimes we don't even give the machine the outputs, right? And the computer, by looking at the inputs and outputs sometimes, will detect a pattern, the underlying structure in the data. So we don't tell the machine specifically what to do, however, we set the rules. Basically, we're going to call those rules models later on. And based on those models, the machine will find a pattern. So it's like finding a pattern and in real data, of course, the data comes with a noise. So the goal is going to find, to estimate, to find that tr uh, relationship between the underlying data. Okay. And that rule, that model can be linear regression, KNN, random forest, SVM, and etc. And each of those models have their own specification. And the computers will detect the pattern in the data based on the specification of those models. So to summarize, machine learning involves automated detection of meaningful patterns in the data and apply those patterns. Simply put, the machine learning algorithms aims to find the pattern and apply the pattern. Now let's try to answer this question of what is machine learning in a more formal way. There are many good definitions out there for the machine learning, but I personally prefer the one that Professor Marcus Lopez de Prado provided. For those of you who are interested in machine learning applications and finance, I highly encourage you to read his latest textbook called Advances in Financial Machine Learning. So here's the definition. A machine learning learns complex patterns in a high dimensional space without being specifically directed. However, guys, this without being specifically directed doesn't mean that human, hum, there's no human involved, right? At the end of the day, we the humans are going to set the rules. Okay, let's break down this definition to, into its components. So the first part, we say that the machine learns complex patterns. The ML algorithm may find a pattern that cannot be easily represented with a finite set of equations, right? So maybe the pattern is not necessarily linear or even nonlinear. Maybe there's a hierarchical pattern in the data, okay? So those are complex patterns that needs to be learned. Secondly, we said that the computers are going to learn in high dimensional space. Sometimes the solutions involve many variables and the interactions between them, right? And finally, uh, the machines are going to learn without being specifically directed. So unlike with other empirical tools, researchers do not impose a particular structure on the data. Instead, you're going to let the data speak. Okay? 
And the main point is that if any of these three conditions, basically learning complex patterns in a high dimensional space without being specifically directed, if any of those three conditions applies, then we're dealing with a machine learning model, okay? So let's conclude this short episode with the question of the day. In the future episodes, we will be discussing the different types of machine learning algorithms, namely supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. But can you make a guess what do these names suggest? More specifically, can you answer the following questions? Well, number one is, in which type of algorithm both inputs and outputs are given, i.e. the data is labeled? and the machine is expected to detect some meaningful pattern or relationship. Which one is that? Supervised, unsupervised, or reinforcement learning? Question number two. Well, in this type of algorithm, only the inputs are given to the machine, and the machine is expected to detect some meaningful pattern. So which type of algorithm is that? And finally, question number three is that, so in this type of algorithm, both the inputs and outputs are given, but not all at once. There might be a delay between the two, and the machine needs to get feedback from the environment. It needs to explore and exploit the environment based on some set of predefined actions, and finally find the optimal path, optimal policy, through some try and errors, basically through some iterations. Which one is that? Supervised, unsupervised, or reinforcement learning? Okay, you can share your answers in the comment section below. I'm going to cover the different types of machine learning, and your applications in finance in the future episodes. And I will specifically show you how the machines actually learn. But before that, we need to clear some terminology first. So I hope you're ready, and I'll see you in the next episodes.